Kia ora, hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you very much for joining us for our Friday weather video for September the 16th. We're tracking high pressure coming into the New Zealand area. This is it out on the Tasman Sea and it's going to come through for the weekend literally for just Saturday and Sunday. By next week, it's already moving out to our east and it's then going to hold up the rain associated with this storm. Now the storm's falling apart, but the rain portion of it will still move into New Zealand with some big rainfall totals in some areas like the west coast and maybe uh, around Nelson and Takaka as well. Nothing like what we just saw in the last month, but still high enough to be uh, alerting you to. And we've got the storm down here, which is around for another couple more days for Australia. It is falling apart, but parts of Victoria and New South Wales and uh, ACT and also Hobart, Tasmania, those areas all likely to still see some unsettled weather for the next couple more days. Let's take a look at New Zealand's frost risks for the next couple of nights. This is overnight tonight. Purple, the main risk, uh, some frost getting into the North Island, mostly up around the mountains. Waikato, a cold night, but you're not looking quite so frosty as you've been. And as we go through into Saturday night, Sunday morning, those frosts retreat even further. The blue is just saying there's some risk you're getting down around that two degree mark or below but generally speaking the northerly winds kick in on sunday so temperatures will start to lift up here's how it looks on saturday high pressure firmly in charge of new zealand so a colder morning and then a pretty settled afternoon on the way in australia that storm falling apart but we've got severe weather risks through parts of victoria Heavy rain, maybe a few thunderstorms, strong winds getting up to gale force, and we might even see a dusting of snow on the mountains a bit later on as the colder portion of that airflow comes on through. The further north you go into ACT and New South Wales, not looking quite so unsettled, but still a few showers in there. Now as we go through to Sunday, that system pushes out from Australia, you can see it here, and now it's being blocked by the high. So the storm's kind of gone, but the leftover rain and energy is still there. So we're seeing this big pool of low pressure down in the Southern Ocean, big area of high pressure nearby. So that's the squash zone in between the two, windy northerlies, and they're partially subtropical. So temperatures are really going to lift up for you on Sunday in the South Island, but not so much in the North Island, still fairly settled. It's not until next week that we start to see that wind and rain move into the North Island. So on Monday, windy but mild, still subtropical in a number of areas. The rain is mostly along the western side of the country and the northwestern part here of the South Island. And over in Australia, colder southwesterlies on Monday, maybe you might even bring in a few snow flurries for the mountains and ranges there for you. Now by Tuesday, this system is still stuck in New Zealand. So like I say, it's not, not a storm rolling in, it's the leftovers of a storm being blocked by high pressure. So it's all unraveling in our part of the world. So by Tuesday, still got mild winds around the North Island. It's still raining around the upper South Island. And those winds are a bit blustery, probably gale force through Cook Strait, but much lighter the further south you go. And lighter winds finally coming back in to the southeastern corner there of Australia. And our final map for next week is on Wednesday. More high pressure to the west, high pressure to the east. We're stuck in the middle here. It's not quite an atmospheric river, but there are some similarities to it, but it's just not quite there. So hopefully the rainfall totals won't be too major, but it might be a bit cloudy and sort of drizzly and showery, patchy rain around a lot of next week for the North Island as that system comes through. Behind it, it does dry back out once again. That is all for me. Don't forget, if you're in New Zealand and you need to find out your hyper-local rainfall totals, just go to weatherwatch.co.nz or ruralweather.co.nz. Have a great weekend. We'll see you again on Monday.